and there you go, 11 tenths. Not bad. All right, Charlie, here we go. Here's another one here. 21 over 32 times 16 over 15 times 10 over 7. Don't get scared. Now, Charlie, just remember, just choose two numbers that you can reduce, one from the top, one from the bottom. 16 and 32. Okay, 16 and 32, well, 16 is half of 32, so they're both divisible by 16. And so 16 divided by 16 is what? 1. And 32 divided by 16? 2. It's 2. Very nice. What else can we reduce? 21 and 7. The 21 and the 7. They're both divisible by 7. And so, Charlie, what's 21 divided by 7? 3. And 7 divided by 7? 1. Very nice there. Now, all we have left is a 10 and a 15. Can those be reduced? Yes. Yes, they can both be divided by 5, right? So 10 divided by 5 is what? 2. And 15 divided by 5? 3. Is it 3? Very nice. Now notice, Charlie, what's on top? 3 times 1 times 2. That's right. What's on the bottom? 2 times 3 times 1. All right. Now when you look at this, notice we have three, a 3 on top and a 3 on the bottom. Those can be reduced, or you say cancel, right? When you're canceling, remember, if they're the same number, it's a 1 and a 1, because you're dividing each of those by 3. Same with the 2s. You can cancel, and they become 1s. That's what you're doing when you cancel. And so what's left on top, Charlie? 1. And on the bottom? 1 is a 1. And so what's our final answer here? 1. 1. That's it. There we go. Okay, let's do one more. Let's make it a tough one. Let's put four fractions together. There you go, Charlie. Don't get scared. All right, I'll help you out with this. This is a tough one. It's not really a pre-algebra problem, but it's more of an attitude adjustment problem. Okay, let me walk you through this, Charlie. You look at these numbers here, and notice here, well, we can reduce an 18 and a 3, right? Because 3 divides evenly into those. 18 divided by 3 is, and 3 divided by 3 is what? Now notice, we have a 9 and a 63. Those are both divisible by 9. What's 9 divided by 9, Charlie? 7. And 63 divided by 9? There we go. Now notice we have a 22 and a 33. Those are both divisible by what number, Charlie? 11. An 11, that's right. So 22 divided by 11 is a 2. 33 divided by 11 is a 3. And notice we have the 21 and the 14, which are both divisible by 7s. And 21 divided by 7 is 3. And 14 divided by 7, 2. And there you go. Now, what's on top, Charlie? 6 times 1 times 2 times 3. OK, what's left on the bottom? 3 times 2 times 1 times 7. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, once again. Is there anything we can reduce or cancel? Twos. That's right. The twos will cancel. Remember, when you're canceling, you're turning them into ones, right? Now, how about the threes? Yes. Right, you're turning those into ones. Now, when you look at this, you have on top six times one times one times one, which is what, Charlie? Six. That's right. On the bottom, you have one times one times one times seven, which is what? Seven. Six sevens. There you go. So there is your answer there. That was a tough problem, right? But you can do it. Remember, you just have to practice at these. And it requires that you do know your times tables. So actually doing these problems without a calculator will help you learn your times tables. All right, Charlie. It's time to take a break. Do your homework. And we'll see you again soon. <laughs>